reading a nonfiction nature book like Frogs by Nick Bishop, or a fun book about different frog calls like Noisy Sing-Along by John Himmelman. How about an easy art project that uses a frog cutout, crayons, construction paper, glue, some googly eyes, and imagination to create a hopping frog? That's what the kids were doing at Pamlico County Public Library following a program on frogs and a book read. Some kids went with the standard one spring approach to their frog, while others souped up their frog a bit with two springs. Like real frogs, these artsy ones boasted different colors and patterns. Some were even given names. The frogs were colorful, and so were the explanations about the frogs. It's a poisonous frog that lost its poison because it's in a jar when it came out, and I released it. And this is the joints for anatomy. 